Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are going into the third hour of our being kick ass at stealing trains. It's going really good so far. I'm really proud of us. I think we're doing great. Yeah. Let's continue to do great. So far, so good. So what's what's next? What's the next thing that happens? John, where are we, what are we doing? So you've uh, taken control of the switch. You've rerouted the trains. Yeah. Um, now you like you just need to like seize the cars and locomotives as they arrive. This one is not yet in under your control exactly, and another one is going to be showing up. Uh, so you do whatever you got to do, and then and presumably RC is going to maintain control of the switching station. Through, yeah. Through what she's doing. I'm gonna do a few other things in the switching station, but. Oh my god. Well, 20 is driving me insane. <laughs> you trying to move the train around? I can make rectangles, but I can't move them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, John. It actually it it looks good on on mine. I got one switched and one. I can move them with my arrow keys, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do. <laughs> there you go. That's that's how trains move, John. Forward and back. That's yeah. it. So what? Uh, yeah. What? Uh, what? What's the next step here? We gotta secure this train, which I guess uh, Oscar and and I are in the midst of. Yeah, you're you're hunting down the rail jacks, uh, so we'll see how that goes. Oscar's doing whatever Oscar's doing, uh, and RC is going to do something inside, presumably to... Yeah, I think... Um, uh, why don't we cut in there for a second? Yeah. Um, uh, I think now is when she, RC has the realization that, um, you know, all her gear got fried. Right. Um, presumably inside, she's reasonably protected. It's not like everyone's wearing masks in this little dorm room. Yeah, no. They, in fact, the the door is like open behind you, and it's kind of flapping on its hinges a little bit. And there's, it's got this rubberized seal around it, and you hear this like hissing. Like there's a slight pressure difference between here and the outside. Nice. They must have a pump or something that keeps. How you keep the miasma from getting in? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. Pump the damn miasma. miasma. Oh, the miasma. All right. So there's three people in this in yes. this room. All right. And all, one of them was like looking at you, like uh, yeah. <laughs> and one of them just flipped the switch. I look over to the um, I look over uh, I keep my gun still not like loaded. It's okay. They don't know that. <laughs> on the guy that's doing the switch, and um, I look at the other two and I say. You let my uh, let my guys in outside. Yeah, they they like look back and forth at each other. I stab one of them in the throat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, um, I only need one of them to do this. All right, and um, I take out uh, my my sword and I. The, like we're across the room, just like lunge and just run him through. Yeah, um, do it because I really want the other one to do what I want. Is it telegraph guy or is it guy putting on his boots guy or the guy at the switching thing? Um, it's putting on his boots guy. Telegraph guy, I need to send me tele send telegraphs in a second. Putting on his boots guy can't defend himself against RC Keel. You don't need to roll. Uh, he he's like struggling with his gear, and you just. <laughs> right through the neck and he ah, and dumps backwards onto the floor and like <laughs> he's bleeding everywhere and rolling around on the floor. Uh, I, I say, I only need, I only need one of you alive to do everything I need. There's still two of you living in this room. Do either of you want to disappoint me? Yeah. So you send my guys face. through the door. You see the look on their faces. They're like, we do not turn off the fucking lightning barrier around our hut in the Deathlands. That is the one thing we do not do, but that just happened. Uh, <laughs> so make your command roll plus one die and order cool. these guys to do the thing that they really, well, really look, want to do. Is there, is there any way for them to let people in? Like, how do they get in there? Yeah. There's, I mean, I'm not saying shut the lightning barrier down completely if there's a way for them. To, I just said let my guys in, so I don't know if there's a way. There... There, there is not a way for them to let your guys in. Okay. There's, there, there's a thing that that makes that happen that your guys don't have, uh, and they know that. But I, RC doesn't really know that. You're just like, what's the big deal? And they're just like, ah, they're like, they really don't want to do it. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, I'm fine with them turning it back on again. I don't care. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just telling them to let them in, so I don't 
they have to figure that shit this out. Is, this is like a technical issue that's at, above RC's pay grade here. You're you're like you think you're just like just fucking let them in, and they're like they know they have to turn off the barrier for that to happen. So they're like ah no oh no, yeah. Uh, but you can command them. So yep. doing it, they'll do it if they're scared enough. What's the uh, position? Um, I think it's. I'm gonna say it's risky uh, because there is. It's it's such a dangerous thing for them. One of them is going to be motivated, even though you're threatening them with death. One of them might be motivated to do something, to do something very reckless and bad for him. Um, so yeah, it's, it's risky. It's not controlled. Um, no, that sounds good. Uh, but it's uh, yeah, call it great effect. You can you can get them. All right, mm, nice. there you go. Yeah. Thank you, Savage. Apparently, stabbing a person makes all the difference. <laughs> yeah, so, apparently, tele telegraph guy, ha he has his hand like on the on the paddle, um, and yeah. he looks over as his as his buddy's like <laughs> slowly bleeding. This huge pool is growing on the floor, and telegraph guy like takes his hand away from the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I understand what that machine. Well, I don't know if I do, but. Yeah, I think it, he was willing to just be like SOS, like real quick, just like fuck it, like yeah. uh, you know. But he doesn't. He he takes his hand hand away, and he looks at the guy at the complicated switching thingy, and they they realize that they really shouldn't say like actually we can't really do that because you know he he doesn't he doesn't do that. He just is like <laughs> and turns turns them off, and the lightning barriers like flash and go quiet. Um, and you can just turn them back on again, right? Sure. Uh, yeah. But, well, that's that's Darcy's theory on this. Right. So what what happens in the short term is they go down, and then the room is like full of dudes, and Cyclops like elbows in, and one of the blood letters comes in behind and like puts his boot on bleeding to death guy and shoves him backward into the corner of the room, out of the way. <laughs> Uh, it's like it's like when you when you get junk on the ground and you like need to clean up your floor and yeah. you know you're too lazy to like bend down <laughs> just, yeah. like, just like shove it out just of the push it out of the way. <laughs> get out of here I dig it he pushes the guy all the way over into the corner and um he's got a he's got a, a sword um he kind of looks down at the guy with his sword and then like just <laughs> looks away as the guy's like horribly dying in the background um, wait, I mean the I mean the grinders. Oh yeah, sorry, the grinders come into the room, not the. <laughs> right. Well, no, right, no. my bad. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get all that taken care of. Um, yeah, but uh, I'll do that in a second. So I want to basically like, secure this thing so that they we have enough people and they know that we can do enough violence to them that that yeah. they're not gonna they're not gonna uh, resist the shit. So I don't think we need like the whole crew in here. I just need a couple extra people. RT can't be like everywhere in this entire space. Yeah. So. I think um, everyone outside, like, basically rushes in, unless, unless you specifically order them not to. Um, they don't want to stand around in the Deathlands. They think this is safe, so they're, they're, they all come inside, and they're like, hooray. That's fine. This can be our, this can be our, like, staging ground. I don't, I don't. You can I mean, totally order them to do whatever you want, but that's, yeah. that's what they'll do by default. I presume this has a pretty good view, like, through these porthole windows. Yeah, you can see the tracks on the station and everything. Okay. Um, yep. Yep. Cool. They come in. Cyclops like is the last one in, and, and he shuts the door behind him. He he goes back to his roots. Uh, for the, what he did in episode one. Uh, he <laughs> shuts the door behind him, and he leans up against it like that. Um, and the, with the rubber seals like suctioned up against the thing. All right, all right. I tell them like as though this is going to reassure them. Like, don't worry. As soon as we're done, you'll flip that back on again. Yeah. He they, he looks at Telegraph Guy, and Telegraph Guy looks at him, and they they don't say anything. They're just like. Yeah. Who uh, knows what you're going to do? Wait, better to not say any, a word. We're just going to be yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, so outside, Oscar, what are you doing? There, there is there's a distant, uh, out in the silence now, everything's quieted down. You hear the locomotive ticking in the as it cools down. Uh, and off in the distance, you hear that distinctive, like, chuk, 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 train sound coming. Cool, cool. Um, so there's a couple of questions that are important here. Yeah. Uh, the first and most important question is, um, so we know that several of the like munitions carrying um, 
cars fell over and they were safe as as we established uh but is there still train on the tracks um is it still moving what's the what's the status of the scenario that i'm looking around at here the locomotive on the map here is it let's say like the blue one at the end of the switch track is the locomotive yeah, top left one got it yeah and then this let's see it turn the corner and landed over here i'll make it a different color so we can refer to it better the orange one is the munition car that slid to a stop cool um, is there anyone on the actual locomotive? Is it still moving? Is that where all the people were peeling out from and running away? Uh, two, there were there were uh, five total railjacks. Um, two of them at least survived that were on top of the munition car and Cantor's hunting them down. Presumably there's an engineer at least on the locomotive still, probably more than one person. Um, and there was a railjack on top of the loco. Oh no, the one on top of the locomotive is the one Cantor shot. Yeah, yeah. So you the in, no the engineer is unaccounted for and is on the stopped locomotive. Awesome. Um, and and we know that that like the doors to the munitions car opened up and like people ran away or something. There nope. might still be something it hasn't up. opened. Nope. Nope. Uh, the cool. railjacks that were on top of it like survived the crash and ha are running around. Is it on its side? Yeah, it's on its side. Okay. So whoever's uh, in there, if there is anyone in there, is fighting gravity right now. And yeah, they got to figure out how to get the door sudden open. Sudden stops and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. So how hard is the door to open from the outside? Uh, so I, I think that I'm, I'm basically like dividing us up. Like I, I look at the, the gang that like landed, right? And I assign several weirdos and several like standard combatants to like basically like one troop's worth. Fine thugs, thank you, sir. Can you just can you just cast like Morden Kynan's creative crowbar or whatever and just yank that shit open? Yeah, probably. Creative crowbar. It's going on less canter. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, how like the munitions car? Uh, we're like stocking up on it. Uh, how hard is it to open? Like, are the doors just basically shut because gravity's finding us, or is there like? No, you, can, you, you can tell they, this is there's like normal train car doors that are meant to be open from the outside uh, by whoever is at Gaddock Station to do that um, with some sort of release and then it slides on a rail backwards and then there's the uh, Imperial Army um, transporting dangerous munitions that should not fall into the hands of terrorists <laughs> car <laughs> uh, check and you can tell from a distance as you approach it, like it's it's some kind of serious lock and metal enclosed thing that doesn't have any. I mean, you can tell that it must have keys and some way of getting in there, but there's no obvious like handle or something you can just whip. Well, on. I brought my own keys, fortunately. Um, I think, however, they're called demolition tools. But you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, just don't don't get us blown up, and we're fine. Uh, well, actually, I'm planning to tinker my way in. If you recall, that's when I mentioned pulling out the, like the blow torches and other things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, I'm not expecting to need to actually like fitness this. I'm expecting to just like cut through it and basically just like sever whatever mechanism I need to like just blow torch or thermite the the lock and like try right. and pull it open. Yep. Um, yep, yep, yep. So that's that's pretty much what I'm. So you're I'm gonna you're to. gonna set up demolition operation. Uh, I, I just want to make it clear that what I'm not doing is strapping explosives to a munitions cart. I hear you. I hear you. All right. You're, right. <laughs> you're, you're, you're cutting through or dr drilling the lock and cutting the, the, the hinges yeah. off the door and that kind of thing. You know? There's there's okay. tinkering tools in addition to demolition tools. That's and a, while, while it's not more cannons, I certainly have, you know, crowbars <laughs> and pry bars and a bunch of people who are more than willing to help uh, with, with what's necessary. Yeah. Uh, so... Yeah, scale, scale wise, you're good. Uh, tier wise, you're not so good, but um, it's a thing you can attempt for absolutely. Uh, we'll start a clock and see how much progress you make. Uh, that's probably good. Okay, so cut open train. All right, so you, you set that up. Uh, so you're going to make your tinkering. Presumably, uh, you're gonna make a tinker roll. I shall. Is controlled and a yeah. uh, limited effect. Got it. 
Uh, I unfortunately am not about to spend stress here because I'm a little bit tight on stress. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's controlled. If it doesn't work out, you can push harder. Yeah, it'll be fine. Or you can try another route like rack. <laughs> um, uh, the question that I have for you, John, is does it affect it at all if I have people helping me or is that just an accountants of scale? I think that's scale here. Yeah. Like yeah. while you're while you're doing actual like smart tinkering work, the rest of the crew has has pry bars and they're they're like getting under the bolts and actually just like cool. forcing they're bending the metal free and doing Well, I am now, I have this. a devil's bargain if you want it. You probably I don't. will listen to your devil's bargain. Let's hear it. <laughs> I'll hear it and then I'll tell you to F off. <laughs> uh yeah. take a tick on ghost attention and take a bonus die. Sold. Because yeah. you're like, ah, eh, whatever. I'm a whisper. I think they can they can notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how big is that clock? Four. Is four? Okay, yeah. No. So uh, we're at what? One, two. One. You're at one. one. Oh, okay. Yeah, totally. I'm taking one of those for sure. Okay. There we go. That's like, that's like candy right there. <laughs> five. All right. Uh, five. Okay. Um, so you get a choice. Uh, hmm. You can try a different approach, giving up on tinker. You probably don't want to do that. Um, or do it with a minor complication. I like another tick on the ghost clock, probably. I, I think that seems like a good good one. Two? Yeah, we can take two. That's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, you could resist the the tick on the ghost clock. Too. We're not yeah, quite please. that desperate, Sean. And in case I didn't mention it, we're, uh, I'm a little low on stress, so I'll, I'll wait until it gets serious. Cool. So, it's, so it's limited. Uh, you... So it's it's four four ticks uh, on the train. You, you tick one, and two ticks on the ghost clock. So you're making you're making progress. You're cutting through. Um, you hear in the distance the hor horrifying wail of some hungry spirit in the darkness, and then it's answered, echoing through. And uh, cricket jams a crowbar underneath the thing and like glances over at you through the gas mask and is like. <laughs> She's like not nervous at all. She's like <laughs> levering the thing back. Oscar is a secret plan. Well, we'll we'll get to it when we get to it. When the clock is full, I have a plan. All right, yeah. let's watch this. Um, um, yeah, chat. No, the railjack did not have a key. They don't give the guards of the munitions train keys to the munitions. That's a terrible uh, thing to do. Yeah. So, um, Cantor. Yes. You you hunt down the rest of these dudes. Yeah. <sighs> But you're not hunting anymore. You're skirm no, I'm skirmishing them to death. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're what? So what they're trying to do is get lost out in the Deathlands, mm -hmm. uh, in a in a way where you can't find them, um, and you're trying to run like a maniac <laughs> through, yes. after them. Right? Is that fair to say? That's totally fair. Okay. Uh, so it is my risky. my pair of fine pistols. Yeah, the the risk is that they lead you into some like crevasse or or some some bad situation for Cantor um, as you chase them. And uh, but it's standard effect. I think you can you can you can take one of these guys out at a go if you push yourself and not to be trifled with. You could get them. You can try to take them all out. Yes, that's what I want to do. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. So then it's risky. Great effect. Yep. Uh, and take two stress and. You can Does you automatically get scale with your crazy pushy ability or whatever? Yeah, not not to be trifled with. I have to. I push myself. I take the strain, and then I that activates my equal footing in the whole with the whole gang. Right, yeah. and and you can take a bonus die from because you're pushing. So yes, yep. it's it's all good for you. It's bad for them, um, but they're they're trying. They don't know who they're dealing with, and they're like, okay. they're, yeah, well, that's because they've never seen such a deadly grinder. They're on their right. exactly. They're on their home turf. They think they can lure you into some kind of trap here. Yeah. I like that. For these poor railjacks, this is like a horror film. <laughs> yeah. With just just the axe murder. Stalking them through the wasteland. Just blah, blah. And what it, I, I said you're running like a maniac, but maybe it's like it's like Jason. Like they're running yeah. full tilt and they keep looking back and you're just walking slowly. With like a gas mask. <laughs> yeah, flat like, just flashes the through the, the swirling ash right at my guns going off. <laughs> They're hiding behind a tree. Like, oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> we just see a picture of your gas mask, perfectly yeah. steady, and it's just lit by gunfire, muscle flashes. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> nice, nice. I like awesome. it. That's that. That's that's got to go into this season's uh, opening 
trailer cut. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, and watching the watching the opening credits, you'd be like, "Who is that? What that crazy oh, gas mask guy? Yeah, it's, it's the crazy perfect. killer." <laughs> yep. All right. Here we go. Oof. Oh. Oof. Four. Well, four. Well, Still. Hey, but you do four it. Four dice. So. Yeah. Jeez. That's all right. Um. You do it. Yeah. You murder these dudes out in the Deathlands, and I I, I think what we see is. Um, one of them like suddenly bolts from behind this petrified tree and and cuts down this down a hill, <clears throat> and you take a shot and we see him stumble, mm -hmm. and as you approach to look down the crevasse, the other railjack rushes you from your blind spot and mm -hmm. checks you, so you John Woo slide Good. on your back down the dune and yeah. shoot him through the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then you slide down and crack into the bottom of this ravine mm -hmm. and there's there's rocks and there's like fallen down trees uh that are all black and twisted no leaves and um the trees in the deathlands are like stone they're like hard as rocks mm -hmm. uh, like snapped apart and well it's a good how so i can't just like walk back up like i'm, no, I'm falling no, you're, you're at it's the bottom good, of this ravine in the deathlands it's a good thing that i can have climbing gear with me if i want to <laughs> <laughs> it is very good yeah actually <laughs> so yeah i probably like put my guns away and i'm just like this fucking ravine stupid fucking deathlands and just, fuck shit. I'm, like take out my rope so like, i love the idea of you like kicking the ash around yeah exactly like, there's like a random skull just like in the ash God, <laughs> pulling out my grappling hook and get ready to throw it up yeah. there yeah, the, you hear the ghost wailing in the distance. <laughs> Goddamn ghost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that, that actually is perfect because if I use uh, climbing gear is two, right? So if I yeah. use that, then I have one one load left for electroplasmic ammunition if I mm. need it. Nice, nice. Yeah, okay. I would take on to that. So do you want me to do you want me to roll or can I just, because I have my climbing gear, I take my next time to like climb up? Um, I think because we have a clock on the ghosts, I think like how long it takes you to get out of the ravine is actually interesting. You can obviously do it, but is yeah. it quick? So does the gear, or? what advantage do I get for having the gear versus like climbing out by hand? Just you, the you, effect you, of the roll? You can get out of the ravine. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> what, I'm a natural climb? No, I climb shit. <laughs> Oh, well, I imagine it's like if you were trying to dig into it, it's like it's ash, and so it's yeah. just like fall away. Yeah, so mostly I'm just yourself. I'm gonna use the rope. I'll hook it onto one of the trees up above and start clank. Up. Yeah, I think maybe we even see that. Maybe like you you start to scramble in the ash, and it it starts to like bury you at the bottom of the ravine. <laughs> like okay, uh, -uh. nope, yeah. that's not good. Yeah, use yeah. the rope. Use the rope. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, prowl is the general athletics skill. Okay. <sighs> And it's like a fortune roll just do controlled standard but this will we'll see like is it is this particularly rapid or do you yeah no because i don't have any prowl so it's gonna it's gonna take me some time i'm not good at all this climbing around shit okay um okay cool uh so roll the prowl uh by the way chat we're not going to do this for every single train um <laughs> 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 this this session would take eight hours um, <laughs> Yeah. This is the interesting thing. Uh, well, this is the train jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. Um. So, you want to make a? Yeah, I'm making a prowl. Yeah, right? uh, prowl. It's like a fortune roll, so do control standard, and we'll see yep. your speed. Okay. Um. Now, is there a way for me to roll? I guess I roll two dice and uh, bonus die one, and then do the thing, or does it auto roll two if I have none? I don't think I've rolled anything with. No if you dice have not. Yeah, it'll automatically do it. It'll do it. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah. So I just bust my ass trying to climb out of here. My rope like snaps. I'm like, yeah. I think we see you do the bullshit, the, the, the like the, the bad newbie climber thing where you're you're going up like this and you actually like twist around. Yeah. So you end up ah, on your fuck. instead of walking up, you're like flip around and. Well, what's great is yeah, I love this because there's no one around to see this, and Kendra is just like so mad, like just kicking the wall and is just like swearing into his gas mask and sure dangling ankle too <laughs> yeah totally just dangling from the fucking rope uh and, and and like gas masks are super like claustrophobic and hot and steamy and so i'm sure you're like sweating and it's all fogging up and it's just like the worst and when you twist it's like <laughs> yeah and i've got one eye in the mask you, totally yeah this is just canter. <sighs> i've gone from canter the murder machine to the like buffoon canter but no one can see this so i'm just gonna come back and be like yeah i killed them all what <laughs> but for right now i'm just like dangling like a fucking uh, uh depth plumbing uh tool just like hanging <laughs> just like God, spinning around God, God, thing. yeah, <laughs> <Damn it>. yeah. <laughs> totally 
Love yeah, it. And, and I think it, like slowly the guy that you shot above like slides past you <sighs> down the ash heap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Fuck it. Damn it. <laughs> All right, well, Kander's not getting out anytime soon. Yeah, that's cool. But, I mean, you are, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, RC, you got the switching station under control. They're not doing shit. Okay. Um, I turn to the telegraph. I start, like, pulling off my gear and grabbing the gear off the dead, the dead, the dude I sta- stabbed in the throat. Oh, nice, yeah. Because I, I think as soon as you make any kind of move in that direction, the blood letter uh, gang member who, who got it, put his boot on the guy, he's like, and he starts stripping the guy and like passing yeah. his stuff. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. That's good. So I can kind of keep my attention on the other two. I'm like, now you, and I point to the telegraph guy. I need you to send a message to the emperor. <laughs> like, like, like that's a thing that goes. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just Tell call the him emperor that I've got demands. But exactly. <laughs> to start us. making the free yeah. Scovlin demands. Oh my God. We're totally, we're totally fucking Hans Grubering this train. <laughs> I'm an exception of you. Yeah. <laughs> I give you the F B I. Uh, sweet. Yeah, you say you say like send a message to the emperor, and he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's not dumb enough to be like I can't do that because the next thing that happens. Is like, yeah. Exactly. I point to the telegraph machine. I'm like, where does this connect to? <laughs> Like, uh, it's it, uh, up and down the lines. Uh, t- then send it down the line. The emperor's down the damn line. It is <laughs> Imperial City. He, he, he puts his hand on the paddle and you see him like, again, the wheels are turning in his head where he's like, he's like, yes, I want, right. Sure, I'll send a message to the emperor. What do you want to send? Be, 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 be. And you, he, you see him realize like, they're not going to have any fucking clue what I'm sending. I can do whatever I want. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to have to scare him into doing the truth to uh yeah so looking at this thing do i i have no idea what he would i don't do. i mean it's up to you sean do like they not have do they not have like to communicate with ships by like light, yeah light, is there a similar light, thing that scared, light, like, lights there? flickering on a i mean oh that that's true they, they would have semaphore basically. yeah semaphore and like the the lantern on off thing they use the lantern symbols they would do that yeah i don't think we have wireless yet like telegraph i think we have it's all wired stuff so the leviathan hunter ships don't have this Right. But they probably do have the signal, the the flashing signal thing. Yeah, yep. Sean, well, you're gonna about... be you're gonna be rolling in that like because of boats XP at the end of the session. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a great point. I think Archie's great at boats. Yep. Whatever this guy does, you can you can study or something. I was gonna say, why don't we put it to the dice? You can right. catch him because yeah, I think I think your ship background lets you know this kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Awesome. So he, he's gonna try. He, I think he realizes that. Okay, you guys are weirdos. You don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to send a distress signal or something. Um, but you can catch him in the act. Cool. Um, so yeah, I tell him that the uh, the the free Scovlin independence. Uh, the the the, the, um, the Scovlin dawn. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> we will. We will not rest. And we will not stop. And I, and this is where I'm going to try and like catch him because I want him to like be like, we will not like, I'm putting like exclamation marks in this thing. And I'm kind of seeing if he's like, as I was get the fuck here, or if he's yeah. pacing with me. And if I catch him deviating, that's when I'm going to be like, Hey, and, and try and point out what, where I saw the deviation. So right. I'm going to try and like, oh, you're going to try and point out where you saw the deviation and not just plug him and replace him with the other guy. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know if the other guy can do it. I don't know. Um, yeah. So yes. So I think I'm studying that, right? I don't need to command him. I already got these guys. You got him. And and to be fair, like you could you could also make a study roll to do it yourself to sit, to be like out of the way and like send a message, um, and we can see how okay, like co- coherent and convincing it is. He'll he will presu- presumably send a better message to cover you as the grinders. But if you don't want him to have the opportunity, you could try it because you kind of roughly know the code. So. Nah. I mean, what's the worst? I mean. My worst case scenario is he sends like help we're being attacked. Right. Yeah. That's essentially the worst failure. Right. Like I'm not that worried about like that's that's not <laughs> untrue. That's fine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like they're gonna have somebody like just right around the corner to come give assistance. Yeah. So deploy the machines. There's fucking just get dropped on. Yes, yeah. we're still in the middle of it. Yeah. Oh, Actually, you know what? I've got, I've got an idea. This this 
track go this these cables go north and south up and down the train right yeah yeah before i have them do anything i'm like thinking about this and i'm like you're you i send one of the guys outside to cut the lines going north <laughs> going to duskwall yeah <laughs> nice. you can't warn duskwall he can only send the south <laughs> nice so yeah, you can't cool. send like a yeah they're coming they're coming yeah good call yeah, one yeah. of the gang members like kicks open a toolbox and rummages around, comes out with bolt cutters and runs outside. Is, that, is this just going to end with you shooting the telegram? Like, pff, boring telegram anyway. <laughs> yeah. Very, very fine. dangerous. Yeah. Ghost leak. How are you? <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. All right. So, All right. yeah, it's it's low, much lower stake study. I guess this is just to, like, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't want to take the tension out of it, but like, I no, just, no, no, like, it's fine. That's that way there's no chance he can, he can alert dust wall. Really? I th really, the stakes of this role now are like, do, do you add to the grinder cover? If this guy does what you want, he's going to send this message. That's like a terrorist message from, from yep. grinders. Yep. Um, and that will help with the cover story later. So it, it still matters. It's just, yep. Cool. So I'm rolling study. Um, mm -hmm um it's risky the risk is that he just like he sends the message he wants uh instead of a nice clear grinder terrorism message yep <clears throat> um do i have plus one d because he's frightened of me yep cool you sure do Nor normally that's just for command but this is it, it's it, that's effectively what you're doing we're we're rolling study but really like, yeah oh more. right you're right command it is it is okay that's okay. I, I'm, I'm going to let it apply. Uh, I'm the GM. I can do that. <laughs> and j just because this is, it's all part of the same thing. You're, you're not changing tactics. You're still putting the fear into this dude. He's just going for it. He's like, ha I'm smarter than you. And yeah. Maybe he isn't smarter than you. Maybe he isn't smarter than me. Um, and I'm trying to think of a devil's bargain. The only one I could think of was that I would uh, offer him to not kill him. Um, oh, well, yeah, if you actually promise, uh, yeah, like in, like in a believable way, you, you know, may, maybe. Yeah. Um, so I think, uh, this is, this is, this is a good opportunity. RC doesn't necessarily always want to just kill people for no reason. And for her, in her mind, living people saying that the grinders did it is better mm. than, mm. than dead people and a message. That's so, true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So she looks at this and she's like, no one else here has to die. And she kind of like glances at her crew to be like, that means you guys don't get to just kill these people. It's She doesn't think like this, she needs to have to like hammer that into anyone, but just kind of, she's like, no one else here has to die. Uh, just send the message and you can go home to your family um, uh, until, uh, you know, you can go home to your, and I, I make some like more like Scovelin insult. Like you can go home to your, your cushy Akarosi family. Uh, yeah. So the real the real devil's bargain here is not uh, your promise. It's it's that you, RC, you you convince the crew if if anyone like tries to hurt this guy, they're going to hesitate because they think you don't want him to be killed. That yeah. this guy will have an actual opportunity to survive. Um, even if you're lying, the crew like thinks you're being serious. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll I'll take care of him for you. If it comes to murdering this I dude, don't worry about it. They're not. Gonna, I'll, I'm I'll not totally in the room right now, so it's. I'll totally take that because I think RC's, despite how cold she's gotten, RC's default mode is not. We don't have to kill everybody. She had to kill the first person to make an example. She doesn't have to kill anybody else. Also, she needed his boots. <laughs> <laughs> but fair shakes. I mean, fair yeah, shakes. fair enough. Her gear was wrecked. Uh, <laughs> it's easier to take it off when he's on the ground. All right, yeah, his air tank also very important. Yes, and his uh, air tank. Okay, cool, cool. Devil's bargain. Bonus Boop. Time. Thank hey, you. Devil's there bargain. You go. El Devil's Diablo. Bargain. Nice. So like it's it's the first letter. Like he's 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 sending H for help or something instead yeah. of instead of we the independent Scovla nation. Right. Yeah. Like as soon as he types H, you're like mm -mm. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like take the sword and like stick it in between his fingers. You know, I do like that. I can't forget. Yeah, yeah. Like type it, you know, like stab it into the yeah. desk. <laughs> the difference between H and W is like a couple more taps. So he's like, yeah. beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I was just taking my time. I, oh boy. <laughs> the independence go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's starts sending the message, and 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 you can tell he's just like. 
oh man and the the wheels are still turning in this guy's head but now in, instead of like oh my god who are these yahoos what the fuck is going on he's like oh my god it's the it's the insurrectionists yeah yep. like i've been yep. captured by insurrectionists yep. like, oh, yeah and i don't i don't ever say grinders because i kind of want to leave it a little bit like i don't yeah. think the oh, grinders it's, like, it's one of those things it's one of those things yeah, where yeah. it's going to be way more believable if they come to the cl conclusion themselves right where if we're like we're the grinders <laughs> that's g r right <laughs> But if they're like, uh, wait, Scovl Scovlander terrorists, they like stole munitions on their way to Duskwall. Mm. We, it's totally independently our idea that it was those guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, we want to incept that shit. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Mm, yeah. Feeling it. Okay, cool. That's good. Cool. That's good. So that, that's me. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. The gang, the gang uh, takes you seriously. They realize they're not going to get to kill this dude. And they, and they all, they all kind of like, look sideways at switch operator dude <laughs> he was like yeah he didn't get any problems he's trying to think he's thinking real hard about what how valuable he can be to the cause now like yeah well he could uh yeah he's thinking he, he's he thinking. can keep operating that switch right now yeah that's true uh, yeah that's that's a good point so um oscar uh is it is it fair to say that like we end that scene with rc suiting up like re yeah yeah you you switch your gear out and yeah. uh, the, get the railjack stuff on you cool um, it's only somewhat covered in blood, uh, hmm. but it's it's in full working order and it's better than the stuff you've got. So it's a, you get a little upgrade. Cool to your gear. Um, Oscar, you are maybe uh, starting to complete Operation Cut Free Munitions Door. Uh, you hear inside. You hear some shifting around, like. Maybe some people in there are like moving stuff out of their way or something. The weight of the car, the thing is way too heavy to like bounce back and forth, but you hear the thing like shift, like there's clearly people inside there. Um. Oh shit, chat. That's a great idea. That's a really good idea. Yeah. I'm going to roll on the uh, random heritage table and see who the way it, what switch operator is, what it, what his, um, heritages that's kind of hilarious that's awesome if he's Fun. Scovlander, that would be amazing and terrible well it'd be great no it'd be great because then you could just be like yeah we're on the same side buddy yeah except for our my people crappy accent and costume may not just say you're married to a scovelander all right here we go first roll 1d6 1 to 3 he's akarosi 4 to 6 he's a foreigner He's a foreigner. Oh, oh man. Now, oh, shit. now we roll to see where he's from. Uh, one or a two, he's a Scovlander. Oh, nope. Thank Christ. Where's he from? <laughs> Good idea, chat. Good idea. He is a Severosi by birth. Not a nice. Scovlander. But that's that's awesome. That's a great great. That's a good, yeah. great that's, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we got. Uh, what's your face? Yeah, that, that was yeah. that was kind of kind of tight there. <laughs> it was. So yeah. Much. Oh, that's also how we got uh, Eruvian cop. Uh, that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. I, I gotta say, I mean, you, I'm totally happy if you want to roll it, but I, I gotta feel like all of our RCs like hate this telegraph operator has to be at Grossy, right? Like she's funneling this thing at him, like you are Grossy scum. Yeah. I yeah. feel like he's gotta be. I like I don't think you can necessarily tell. tell. Yeah. Okay. Well he works for he works for like the kind the government, the government the right? Man. So yeah. you're not you're not yelling at a person, you're you're yelling at a job. And an institution. A bit darker <laughs> and a bit blacker hair, perhaps, but yeah, yeah. He's, he's he's still the man. I'm just imagining yelling at a job. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Ron, for that idea. Just kill me. That was awesome. Uh, okay, Oscar. Let's see. So this this is we're coming down to uh, like how the score is going to play out now. Like, is Cantor going to be around with his electroplasmic ammo when the ghost descend on you? Are you going to is the door going to be open at that point? Are you going to be ahead of all that and get this wrapped up so that yeah the ghosts aren't here until the next trains arrive and that kind of thing? That's that's what we're finding out. So. I think you're kind of continuing with what you were doing, right? You didn't abandon the tinkering route. You're nope, still. Nope, that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, 
do, do you want to take the devil's bargain again? I'm taking. Oh yeah, the, absolutely. The third two and four. Okay. I thought I thought you might. Um, do you want to? This was controlled, uh, and you only got one tick. Do you yeah. want to make bump this up to say? risky or desperate to get more effects to crack this thing open faster how many more how many more ticks do i need there's three left so if you take desperate you can do it in one go the, that sounds great we're doing it the obvious problem just just to paint the picture here is instead of being very careful with your cutter and being very careful about what you're doing to the car and what's inside it you're like okay the guys inside are probably smart enough to move this shit out of the way because they see like electric Shh, cutting like coming a, through yeah and they don't want to get blown up, so that's on them. They better fucking move the shit out of the way. If you want to go desperate, you can just be like, I'm turning this full blast. I don't care. Let's go. And hope that it doesn't set anything off. How close is the switching station to um, the uh, to the the car right now? You can probably um, see it. Yeah. I'm going to... We're getting a little... Like 100 yards. Yeah. Like a hundred yards. All right. Is it reasonable to say we're getting a little cozy in here, and I'm going to send some of um, I'm going to send some of the uh, the fine thugs out to help with this uh, that are in here, um, and like if I can see like Oscar like the sparks of the of the yeah. Or, well yeah they, that's that's fine yeah okay. you don't technically so, need all the guys in here so yeah so I'm gonna it, it's just my way of um, giving you help I think it's I I can't help normally but I'm gonna spend a stress. Uh, and I think it's kind of, you know, not what they want to do, but I'm going to give you yeah. a, give yeah. you an assist on that. Cool. I think so. that's great. They all, they all come running. They're all kitted out um, to, to do this. So yeah. they, they throw their pry bars under the door with everyone else. And I, I, I think that what's happening is um, Oscar actually passes off the torch to somebody else that has the gear on. And what he's doing is he's actually sitting right on top of the door so that like his eyes are flat with it. And I'm watching the cut. So that when yeah. the shit goes down, you're like, and the train car blows up and murders all of you, I can say nope. Yeah. Right. right. Um, John, if I give them direction, could that, I'm thinking about it now, could that count as a setup action? Um, if I send them out there, is it, would it, would it improve effect or position if I give them better direction? Or are they really kind of brute force and best to handle it as an assist? We got this, Sean. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, we yeah. Got this. Uh yeah, I was just thinking I could reduce your position somewhat, but no, you're good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think we'd be okay. Uh, yeah, uh, all right. Strauss wants to go for it, so do it. He's the man on the scene, so it's uh desperate and green effect, and you've got your devil's bargain, and you've got an assist die from Marcy. Bones go. Yeah, hey. there we go. Thanks. There it is. There we go. Very nice. Uh, Adam, can you give me one more prowl roll, please? Control standard. Uh, yeah. That'll, that'll narrate the outcome. Sure. I think it'll be, it'll be, it's worth knowing if Kander is here. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I don't know if someone's pulling him out. <laughs> fucking <Ooh>. no. <laughs> I'm just like dangling. Just fucking dangling. That's cool. Uh, you're like, you've got, you've gotten back on your feet and you're like, you're like, yeah, okay. And now, now we're good. Now we're good. And you, and you take one step and just like, <laughs> But ah, shit. out of frame. <laughs> I'm like back down at the bottom again. It's like, God damn it. Fuck. Uh, Judd, can you pull up the uh, roll 20? Yeah. Slit it's scene. A, yeah. Or it's Adam, sorry. It's cool. Never mind. Okay. Folks were. Oh, it was it for rolls? Yeah. yeah. That's a, sorry. That's a, that's a two. Yep. Or a one, actually. And, and, and Oscar uh, credit on the ticker roll. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah. So Cantor. Um, so it's not it's not just uh, timing anymore, Cantor. Like you you fall, you slide to the bottom of this thing, and you hear this whispery voice in the ravine go, "Life," and you you turn and look, and there's a fucking ghost. Like, so does this fall. does this second roll not invalidate the results of the first one then? Because wasn't the first one I get out, but how long does it take? Yeah, you're 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 gonna get out. Uh, we're we're having fun with all of this, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious business. You're you're gonna be able to climb out, um, but now. So is this happening at the top or the bottom of the thing? Uh, let's say it's happening while while you're getting out. Uh, That's even worse. 
but it but it, it took but it took you so long and you were fucking around so much uh, i see so i'm like pulling myself up over you're the edge pulling yourself that. Up. perfect okay yeah, yeah that's good yeah. yeah i want this moment where like Kendra has collapsed and he's like completely covered in ash and like pops back out of it you know <laughs> yeah, yeah From... i can get up and i'm gonna dust myself off and then i hear the voice and i'm like oh fucking ghosts now <laughs> yeah fuck this yeah it's yeah. this interesting. So you're there's a ravine. There's one side, and it goes down to the ravine. You crawled up, and you came out on the other side of the ravine. There's this this shadowy figure with glowing eyes in the darkness standing there across from you, and you have to pick yourself up. Like, oh, jeez. And in the distance, you hear this like spang, gong, tong, mm -hmm. and this cutting torch. And I'm this, sure I can see it through the yeah, through the, the yeah, thing. The, if the color, if not the or like the light, if not the actual yeah, thing, you see light from the torch and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this heavy, like, sliding sound. Mm -hmm. And then across this empty ravine space, this spirit is, like, just, like, walking through the air. Oh, man. Don't All right. So um, I want to, I wanna like, before I do this, because I have, I'm going to use my last uh, load on the, on the electroplasmic ammunition. But now I don't know what it is or what it does, but I had a conversation with Oscar before we came out here where Oscar <laughs> gave me, like, special guns because it's not ammo isn't like in clips in this right it's it's i would have to have a gun loaded i have these two special guns that i wasn't using uh and i think oscar like gave them to me or was like here use these if you see what it would be okay if we cut back and saw that interaction real quick i would i would kind of like oh to see yeah it. totally yeah. <laughs> back so I'm, I'm getting ready we're doing like i'm doing my thing where i'm just like putting all my guns in filling my holsters and then yeah so how do you how do you approach that situation oscar <clears throat> I think that, oh, so uh, you may not be aware of this, uh, but I picked up uh, the ability to craft arcane things. Yeah, totally. Uh, so I think what I show up with is a, a, a bandolier that has like, uh, so like usually when you load a gun, it, it's, uh, you don't necessarily, like you use like the cartridges and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Is that where our technology level's at? Yeah, we're, we're so. breach loading, not, not yeah. magazine. They, they, they have like car cartridge based ammo. It's not like paper and ball kind of stuff. It's actual shells okay cool um uh but i i i think that what happens is um like if you have a, a a holder for your your balls that you put in and like they have the electroplasmic ones that are like in slightly different holders there is a similar set of holders but they're like maybe bigger and uh essentially like the balls like have like i don't know weird sigils and shit on them uh, i do you know, indeed have a holder for my balls her name is your mom <laughs> <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Uh, yeah, that's what she uh, said. Uh... <laughs> is, is that what Kander says? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to Oscar? Pretty much, just deadpan, you like... From my balls. I'm sorry, did you have something else you needed to say? <laughs> so do you have, do you have special, you have special gear for me? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, I made, I mean, I got this from the Deathland Scavengers, and I, I hand you a... Uh, a thing yeah because our workshop is really busy making drugs yeah and i like look at it and i'm like fuck is this shit it's like bullets with writing on them yeah like uh, pointing it at random objects in the room <laughs> or like right past your head <laughs> I, to be frank i have seen canter do everything but shit that wings off a fly so i'm actually not yeah that totally i would never accidentally kill a person right? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, so i th I, I think uh oscar oscar basically just just says like it's uh it's got a little more kick than your usual electroplasmic ammunition and i uh I it's for that shit that you really need to go down fast yeah and like if you were giving this to me like in the city for like a regular job that you thought for some reason would have like you know ghosts or something i probably would be really skeptical i'd probably be like you know whatever but you know we're, we're going out into a place that everyone in duskwall knows about right like yeah. we all yeah, know yeah, yeah. that ghosts are out there and that's real um, yeah, you never, you don't go out there. That's, yeah, you you don't leave the city, yeah. right? Totally. We've all st stood at the lightning barriers, like watching, you know, hungry ghosts on the other side. Totally. Well, there's that thing you do as a kid where you're like run up, run up to the barrier and stay as close to it for as long as you can, and like run yeah. back, right? Like Dare each other to pee on the barrier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Throw uh, rocks at it. Yeah. So uh, because because you know we have like the the, the cartridges and we we put the the stuff in. Oscar makes sure that you have a couple of them. And what he says is, I mix some. I mean, the Deathland scavengers mix some uh, copper into these, so that when you fire, there's going to be a very distinctive flare. So that way we know when shit's going down. So the interesting thing is that um, uh, as that 
Cantor knows you're lying to him. Yep, he totally does. <laughs> yeah, and so I, I, yeah, I give you, I give you that like skeptical look, and I'm like. But what's really funny is like the parts I'm lying about is whether I made it or not. The yeah, right. I'm not exactly. lying about is the fact that I know that this is going to waste something and also be able to communicate um, like either where all of us need to group up on. Because if we see your like muzzle flashes, we know that that's like the point of like assault or yeah. it could be like a flare gun or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And, and so it, so the part the part of that story that's bullshit is is which part? Who made it? The, right. Who made it? So where did yeah. it actually come from? Oh, I totally made it. Yeah, yeah. In the workshop. So I, a, I look, I look yeah. at you, and I look at the thing, and I'm like, yeah, I recognize that writing. You made this shit, didn't you? And I like just like deadpan, like stare at you, waiting for your response. Oscar like searches for a lie, and then um, you realize like what he says, and you realize that this is actually his great concern. Uh, he looks at you, and he goes. Enter, I, I wouldn't leave you naked and out there. Like, it's good stuff. You can trust me. Yeah, and I, I look at it and I'm like, fuck yeah, little man. And I like put the guns away and I'm like, when we get back, I got to tell you, I got this idea for a six barrel rifle that shoots <laughs> all the barrels at once. Man, if you could make me some of that shit. I, and I like slap you on the back. And I'm like, thanks, man. I'm like, get all ready to go. I go back to like hyping myself up and practicing my Scottish accent. <laughs> Nice. I, I think Oscar just stares after you for a couple of minutes and goes, well, that went better than expected. Yeah, no, I'm stoked. You can make guns. Guns are like my favorite thing. <laughs> you can't, okay. you can't, you can't use the workshop to do other, other like weird whispery things, but making guns. Yeah. That's... Making guns is awesome. That's great. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm hype. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. So we cut back to the current timeline with Cantor in the Deathlands, drawing his special pistols we saw in the flashback. Yeah loaded with special electroplasmic ammunition and drawing a bead on the first the, the the ghost attention clock has not been filled this is just this is some random spirit not the not the ass that's that's coming mm -hmm. it's just one that noticed canter uh so you're gonna you're gonna yeah so i like hold the hold the guns up and i'm like i'm like all right you dead ass motherfucker and i like kiss each of the guns and i go <laughs> and just yeah. let him have it this is where we say fuck you youtube we're gonna take a break <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we're gonna come back. <laughs> seriously, thank you for watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, but seriously, thank you so much. Uh, we do all this just for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's take a short break, and we will be back with the uh, conclusion of today's episode uh, when we return. Don't go anywhere. I'm about to tear shit up. Yeah. <laughs> 